Hello there, guys. Welcome back to Unis Talks Football. Welcome back to a brand new video. Are you all doing well? No. Unless you're a Real Madrid supporter. Congratulations. Uh, uh, amigos, uh, how, do you say, how do you say congratulations in Spanish? Is it felicidados or something like that? I don't know, but you get the gist. Congrats. <laughs> Isn't it? Congrats. Um, deserved. Deserved win. And um, Chelsea, what a night. What a night. You know... When, when you lose important games, there's there's two ways you can lose. There's there's a way that you lose in terms of, oh man, we didn't deserve to lose. We didn't deserve to lose that. But it's just one of those things and it happens and it's hard to digest. It's hard to swallow. But you keep your head held high because you know, yeah, that shouldn't have happened. We should not have, uh, have, have lost that. And then there's tonight where you basically give everything on a plate to Real Madrid. You make comical, comical defending mistakes. Comical. We're talking basic. Schoolboy stuff. Textbook stuff. Right? That's very easy to swallow. That's very easy to swallow. You look at that and you go, we deserve to get bad. Yeah? Very easy to get over. Tomorrow I'll be able to forget it. But you look at it and you go, it's a shame. It's a shame. It, sh it shouldn't happen. It just should not happen. Right? To lose in that manner should not happen. In a Champions League quarterfinal, at home, at the bridge, in this game, against opposition that we managed to boss last season in the manner that we did. Should not happen. Should not happen. And the one attribute that we are normally the best at, <laughs> defending. Yeah, we it looked, it looked like, in terms of defending tonight, we looked like a bunch of school kids that are learning to tackle for the very first time. And uh, it's mad. I'm getting I'm getting calls from I'm getting calls from Man United supporters now. Great. Um, yeah, I've got a long night ahead of me. Uh, my friends are gonna go on me on this tonight. So um, yeah, look, tonight was an absolute calamity. And if you're thinking in terms of the form that we are now starting to pick up, it's not looking good at all. Getting smashed at home four one to Brentford in the manner that we did, we called that a blip. We called that a blip because defensively we looked all over the place. Tonight. We looked all over the place defensively. Shocking defending. Shocking defending. Some of the mistakes that we were seeing, like that first goal. Oh, my God, man. Oh, my God. How? Explain it to me. How are you going to allow Benzema and Vinicius to have a 1-2, the most basic attacking move that you learn when you're playing for your school team, right? The one-two, yeah? Touch and go is also what they call it. It's one of the first things you learn as a kid in terms of movement, right? In terms of progressing with the ball. One type of action, one-two. You know what happens when you see a one-two. You know what happens. In an attacking manner, the player giving the one to the player giving the two is going to be the one that runs forward and gets the ball, and the other player is going to be the one advancing into a position where they're hopefully going to receive the ball. What you have to do is watch out for him. That's it. Just watch out for him. Keep your eye, keep your eye on him. Yeah, make sure he's not by himself. That's it. Mark him. Mark him. You see a one-two. It's successful. He's making a run. Keep your track on him. So what do Chelsea do? Nah, leave him by himself. And on top of that, the player that we've decided to leave alone and not even mark is Benzema. Benzema. I mean, the one player that you wouldn't even leave... I mean, you, you, you would probably have to mark with two or three players, let alone one, is Benzema. Tonight, nah, we'll leave him by himself. Yeah, because he's not going to score. You know, what on earth was that? One, two, Vinicius bombs forward. Benzema literally moves away from about three Chelsea players into a nice pocket of space. No one's picking him up. He's advancing into the box. He's looking. He's going, hey, I'm unmarked over here. No one seems to notice that I'm here. Send the ball, please. Vinicius, yeah, no problem. There you go. Benzema. Still no one around me. Okay, nice one. Sweet. One nil comical it's comical it's comical and i have to do this in this sort of manner because if you don't laugh you cry 
right? When you see a mistake as bad as that, you, you cry. If you don't laugh, you cry. So I might as well make a little show out of it because at least we might get a couple of laughs. You know, uh, it's, it's, it's really, really, really bad defending. Really bad defending. Christensen all over the place. You know, the second goal. Oh, my God. The second goal. Comical as well. Absolutely comical. To be able to allow that much space again. Christensen getting dragged. Aspilicueta in no man's land. No man's land. But again, if you look at that start of the action, ball on the on the on the side, no one's closing that down. And then Benzema gets himself, manages again to make a run by himself, not being tracked. It's 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 suicide. It's there we are. That's the word. It's suicide. You're allow, you're allowing Benzema to move freely, you know? It's it's like someone at border control, literally going, oh, okay, you've come to the UK, just, just walk in. I don't need to see your passport. Just walk straight in. Go on, yeah, go on. Do what you want. Do what you want. You're, you've got you've got indefinite leave to remain, right, from the get go. Yeah, that's basically it. That's what we did to Benzema tonight. Welcomed him to the bridge. You can do what you want, mate. Twice, not just once. Twice, allow him to just get into space by himself, unmarked, untracked. Ball gets to him, yeah, slots it in. Of course he's going to slot it in because he knows how to finish. He is Benzema, one of the most consistent strikers in the modern era. For years, year after year after year after year after year, he bangs in goals and does not stop. It's crazy the way that he just keeps form up at his age. It's stupid. We're not even marking him. Comical. Comical stuff. And then the third goal was the icing on the cake. I mean, uh, we, we, we make changes. Thomas Tuchel goes, okay, I'm going to change the shape. I'm going to uh, bring on some subs. We're going to go to a back four. We're going to try something new. We're going to hopefully see if this gets something going in terms of an attack. 20 seconds. 20 seconds, Edouard Mendy takes Tuchel's ideas, puts it into a ball and throws it out of the window. With a, with a mistake for the ages. I mean, you don't expect a Mendy to make a mistake like that, but that was a calamity. That was that was. I don't think have we even we haven't seen Kepa make a mistake like that. I mean, it's te it was terrible, terrible. Tries to pass it, Rudiger, complete mistake. Benzema is there to pick up the pieces because again, let me stress to you guys, it's Benzema. You know, it's it's not it's not one of our strikers. Let's have it right and. No disrespect to Kai Havertz, I'm keeping him separate from this conversation. Because tonight, Kai Havertz was probably the only one that kept the standard up out of everyone on the pitch. If you're looking in terms of the guy that actually looked normal, Kai Havertz was that guy and got the goal. So fair play. So I'm putting him to the side. But when you look at all our other attacking options that we have, and then you look at Benzema, yeah, you know, Benzema levels above, levels above. So if he, if he sees, if he senses a mistake like that, of course he's going to pounce. 20 seconds into the first, into the second half, picks up the ball from Mendy. Thank you very much for that. You know, VIP service, you know, first first class treatment. It's like walking onto, you know, Singapore Airlines or, or the Emirates, you know, or, or Qatar Airways and getting yourself premium service, VIP business class, you know, gold seats. You know, that's basically what Benzema had tonight. In for, especially for that third goal. Picks up the ball, slots it into an open net. Hat-trick. Thank you very much. And Chelsea now, as far as I'm concerned, going into the second leg at the Bernabeu. We ain't scoring twice. I, I, un, unless if they want to prove me wrong. Unless if they somehow want to prove me wrong. But the signs that we saw tonight shows us that we are not going to go to Madrid and bang in twice to then just equal the game. Bearing in mind there's no away goals, so we don't need to worry about away goals. But we need to score two at the Bernabeu now. I, I, I don't see it happening. I just don't see it happening. Unless if we pull off one of the biggest comebacks in European football. It'll be up there with Liverpool coming back in Istanbul. Or the 4-4, you know, comeback with Origi. Or uh, the Barcelona, you know, packing six past. Uh, who do they play? I mean, you need something of that sort of size. PSG, you need something of that sort of size to be able to to to, to come back in a game like this now. Because Real Madrid at home with a three-one lead, I don't see them. I don't see Real Madrid not scoring at the Bernabeu. No way, they are going to score, and that's why I'm looking at this going. It's dead. It's dead. As far as I'm concerned, I think personally, my own opinion, I think it's dead. If you've got hope, I commend you for it. 
if if you're that optimistic and you feel like yeah we are gonna go to the Bernabeu and turn and turn this around and we're gonna go through, mate, I commend you. I commend you. You have faith uh, beyond belief, and I don't know how you get it. <laughs> Simple as that. But tonight shocking can we blame Thomas Tuchel I would say for a couple of things just at the very beginning Aspie on the left hand side was something that I personally would not have gone with um Jorginho to start again personally as I said in my preview I would not have gone with that um I get it but I would not have gone with that in the end I think Kovacic and Kante needed to be the ones to start um and then yeah after that I mean he just tried his luck he brought on the Lukaku I knew he wasn't going to do anything we all knew that Loftus-Cheek we knew he wasn't going to do anything just yeah, it, at that point, it just all went wrong already. So the damage is done. You're just basically trying to hope that something that you try is going to change the game. And it didn't. It didn't. And it was never going to. So it's a shame. Todd Bowley was in attendance tonight. So um, he's probably looking at this going, I don't know if I should buy the club now. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see what happens. But this was a horror show tonight. And um, yeah, personally, I... If I'm going to be real with you guys, and this isn't me being, uh, you know, ultra reactionary or emotional. I'm not emotional right now. I feel quite calm. I just feel really disappointed in seeing a result like this, a performance like this. I don't see us going through. I personally do not see us going through. Is it over? No. But I just don't see us to up, mate. If, 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 let me, let me, I'll put a disclaimer, yeah? If we turn it around at the Bernabeu, we are going to win the Champions League. I'll say that. And I don't see it happening. <laughs> I just don't see it happening. So let me know your thoughts. I'd love to know your opinions below. Hit me up and share your thoughts and views on what's gone down tonight. Um, again, Christensen sliced open. Um, Aspilicueta sliced open. Vinicius had him on a... Don't, don't even know what he had him on. For speed, Aspi had no chance. You know, Christensen, Aspi, uh, Christensen had no chance. Um, Jorginho, defensively, calamity. Got the assist for Kai Havertz and fair play for that goal. But apart from that, nothing. Um, yeah, Mendy, mistake, horrid. The attack, not really much going on, except Kai Havertz trying to do what you can do. Yeah, it's just really, really, really bad night again. A few days after the Brentford result, there's this. It's, it's just not good. It's just not good. And obviously, we've got things happening behind the scenes with the club. Thomas Tuchel has got his own personal problems. He's obviously going through a divorce now. So he's only got his own personal issues to deal with. It's just not good. It's just not good. So we'll see what happens going forward. Again, much appreciated for all of you for watching. Let me know your thoughts below. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Hit the notification bell to be notified once I've uploaded. Smash the like button if you've somehow enjoyed this video just for the sake of the video itself. Um, and I'll see all of you tomorrow where we'll catch up and see what's going on. So I'll see all of you then. Have a good one, people. See you tomorrow. Take care and peace.